Hello, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the week and the life of a senior Salesforce admin. I won't go into every detail on every event that took place this week, but I will give you the highlights so you can see the types of projects and tasks that I worked on. For context, we are a team of three at a small SaaS startup, and I have over 10 years of Salesforce admin experience. The week started out with a new sales rep joining the company. Our junior admin set him up in Salesforce, but needed help creating a new sales subregion. We walked through the process of adding an option to the pick list and adjusting the dependent pick list options. Next, I met with our product team. We previously set up a product request feature into our Salesforce environment, but they needed adjusted based on some new requirements. It started out by adding a few pick list fields, but as I asked additional questions, the configuration changes started to add up. I ended up having to adjust a flow to accommodate some new email alerts based on the new fields, as well as adjusting the email alerts distribution lists. I made the adjustments and helped our product PM UAT the new changes. During testing, a new requirement came up and I had to adjust our current approvals process, as well as create a new one. One more UAT passed and everything was approved to push to production. I created the change set with all my changes and made note of what my post-migration steps included. I then deployed the change set to production and validated that the changes went through. I then adjusted my search layout to include the new fields as well as activating the new version of the flow. I also had to manipulate some existing data and create some new records which I did using Data Loader. Our product PM then verified the changes and the request was complete. I then got a Slack alert from a member of our sales op team needing help on a report. After a little back and forth, I ended up adding a cross filter on the report to meet his requirements. Moments later, they came back and said they needed a dashboard based on these new filters and gave me a list of other reports they needed as well. I forwarded this request on to our junior admin. While they worked on that, I had a quarterly business review with one of our vendors. We discussed a few open issues we had with the tool and what our next steps were. Then the conversation shifted to discuss our current product usage and they demoed a new feature. Our new services manager pinged me and asked if I was available for a meeting later that day. I accepted and we met to discuss some challenges he was facing during handoffs from sales. He wanted to add quite a few new fields and make them required in order for the rep to close the deal. I suggested we use a clip template instead and he was open to it. The next day, I set up a quick demo and sandbox of what it would look like in Salesforce and he was a fan of the idea. He brought it back to leadership and they agreed with that approach and he came back with a revised template. After making the template revisions, I added the new component as a tab on our Opportunity Lightning page, and he communicated the changes out to the field. We're going to monitor the usage before deciding if we need to add a validation rule that would require it for the rep to move the deal to closed one. I then had some request changes come through for account ownership. I passed these requests to our junior admin, where he got approval from the sales manager and made the adjustments in Salesforce. Next, I met with our developer about a field that's being updated by Apex, but the Apex seems to be failing for some unknown reasons as I was seeing some data discrepancies. While we were discussing it, we decided to add a new formula field to capture the details from the child object rather than using code, and our developer is now working on retiring the unnecessary code. My junior admin then pinged me that he had completed the request to dashboard, and I took a look. Everything looked fine to me and we met with the requester, and he walked through the dashboard. After a few changes made on the call, everything looked good. That covers the majority of the key elements of a week in the life of a senior Salesforce admin. Of course, there were a lot of other similar things that popped up, such as helping reps with quotes and understanding why they were getting a validation rule error, but for the most part, it was a pretty productive week. If you found this video useful, please be sure to leave a comment and consider subscribing to the channel for more videos. Thank you.